Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo December 23, 2022. A month-long cycle begins today that emphasizes pleasure and creative self-expression. It can inspire you creatively and emotionally you pay more attention to personal hobbies or recreation and entertainment. A stronger urge is with you to create, put talents to use, show others what you can do, experience, and enjoy romance, and partake of many of life's pleasures. It's a time for expressing and enjoying yourself. Just yesterday, Jupiter moved into a far less playful or spontaneous area of your solar chart, and the clash between these two new themes in your life is strong today. With a Sun-Jupiter square today, problems tend to come from overestimating your, or life's, capabilities, overblown egos, or overblown expectations. Your eyes open to areas of life that need improvement, and your best bet will be to get excited about making changes. At the same time, resist the urge to rebel or react impulsively if things are not going as expected. As the wheel of time turns, we watch as seasons come and go. Today is the official beginning of winter, as the mighty sun freezes and shivers as he marches atop the mountaintops of Capricorn. This is a zodiac season also ruled by elemental earth, embodying cardinal energy. This is a very bustling and positive time of the year for you as you are able to move more easily toward your goals and heart's desires. We have found the time when the days are short and the nights are long, but know that from this point forward you are marching back toward the light. Get organized. It might be time to reorganize your workspace when the moon enters Sagittarius today. The mutable moon could help you reorganize your work environment so that you are more productive. Breathing new life into your workspace could set you up for a productive Capricorn season since the sun will enter Capricorn as well. Throughout Capricorn season, focus on the long-term trajectory of your passion projects and creative endeavors. The best way to do so is by ensuring that you have a suitable work environment during the luminary's ingresses. Jupiter is back and in his first full day in your financial sector, the planet of luck and expansion is ready for a fresh start. This is not the same planet that retrograded out less than eight weeks ago and armed with all the experience gained from the five months he has already spent here, neither are you. Knowing now what you didn't then you and Jupiter are both ready for a fresh start. Balancing our lives can become a challenge. This is a good time to think about balance where your health is concerned. Is there balance in what you feed your body? Do you expose your system to harmful substances, or are you depriving it of its vital rest? Think along these lines when you plan your days. Are you amply providing for your body, thinking about the years you have ahead on this earth? This can be a serious task but remember it can also be fun. Exercising with a friend, if possible, is good for the spirit. If you have a family of your own and are wondering about ways to bring everyone closer, consider using some of this day energy to help you find the means. This essence encourages expression and creativity. Perhaps there is a project that everyone can get involved in. Special occasions and holidays present opportune times for family bonding. Allow your imagination to take hold. You're sure to think of something if you allow yourself the time to explore the possibilities. While this is the point in each year when the sun will always leave your home and family sector, the difference this year is that this will end all planetary activity on the home front before Christmas since 1990. There is usually at least one planet staying on, even if just for a few days or weeks but this time, it is just the moon who will stay on to ensure you are emotionally and intuitively engaged until it too leaves tomorrow. Instead, the focus is shifting to matters of the heart and all things fun, playful, romantic and creative. Just as Venus, the planet of love moves into her final 12 days in your romantic sector and Mercury his final week in direct motion here, the sun returns. As the solar spotlight shifts onto matters of the heart and all things romantic it is to find Venus working to make the most of her final days here before returning in 2024 and Mercury preparing for a retrograde turn that will open the doors to the past and second chances. Our Eyes in the Sky
The sun moves into Capricorn today, marking the solstice and beginning of winter. This ambitious sign lends us plenty of resilience as we navigate the holiday season. A square between the sun and Jupiter gives us the opportunity to communicate bluntly, but try to avoid being too matter-of-fact with people who are especially sensitive. The energy here can also cause our focus to shift toward the things we want to accomplish before the year ends, while considering our goals and resolutions as we continue to inch toward 2023. You feel impatient, on edge, unable to relax, it's particularly difficult to find any peace. If you're normally calm and well-balanced this is the stimulation you need to put plans you have been thinking about for a long time into action. With such an enterprising attitude you may be overstretched, if you feel on edge, allow yourself the peace you need. If you enjoy buying yourself something new, go ahead and do it. You have the means to do so, and it's about time you treated yourself. Your finances allow you to make a small investment and you are sensible enough not to overspend. An opposition between the Sagittarius Moon and Mars retrograde can put us in touch with our personal power without sacrificing our sympathy toward others. Remember that helping others and you can helps you score karma points while providing an excellent outlet for this aspect. The energy here could make people a bit insensitive and more oriented around themselves, so try not to lose touch with your empathy, and avoid triggering discussions that could lead to arguments. Energy levels could take a hit as well, so try to pace yourself if you start to feel sluggish. If you can, go to bed a bit earlier tonight. In the late afternoon, the sun exits broad-minded Sagittarius and enters tenacious Capricorn, the sign of the sea goat. Its ingress corresponds to the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere and the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere, marking the shortest and longest days of the year respectively. During Capricorn season, we seek to erect stable foundations upon which to build an enterprise. Our goals may be work-oriented, aligned with Capricorn perseverance, or relationship-oriented, aligned with Capricorn loyalty. Capricorn is a cardinal earth sign. It archetypally resonates with initiation, as well as with grounding our desires and visions into a tangible container. For any great work to be accomplished, we must be aware of the time, resources, and energy that we can devote to it. We must persist despite stacked odds, yet also know when to cut our losses. Here, we have a true opportunity to work literal magic, pulling our imaginative designs out of the ether, turning our fantasies into realities. In the late afternoon, the sun squares off with Jupiter in Aries, an aspect that will play a role in the upcoming December 23rd new moon. This transit makes us indulgent and overly optimistic. We can lose focus and become less disciplined in our work, believing that everything will organically sort itself out without applied attention. However, the Capricorn Sun is an especially committed sun, so we have less to worry about in terms of follow-through. In fact, that may be the central problem. During the Sun-Jupiter square, we risk zealously making too many promises under the assumption that we can accomplish whatever we set our minds to. In the heat of the moment, we have no doubt that our initiatives will succeed. Yet when the dust settles, we may find that we've taken on too many assignments and we are unable to quit any of them. The best approach now is to wait and think about things before committing. Give yourself a week before firming up any plans.